If you're a fan of multiplayer online battle arenas like League of Legends and are planning on biting into Fangs when it launches into early access on November 30th, you'd do well to first heed Squidward's advice and empty your mind of everything that doesn't have to do with team fights. Because Fangs, despite looking, sounding, and smelling like League of Legends, plays nothing like it. No, instead of League or Dota, Fangs is more like the spiritual successor to team arena brawlers like Battle Right and Bloodline Champions. There are no creeps, there are no towers, there are no items and best of all, there is no spamming mid 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 as soon as the match starts because everybody mid in this game. Instead of lanes, ganking, and the typical early to end game MOBA arc, Fangs is 3 rounds of 4v4 end game all the time. Sounds great, right? Well, yes and no. No foreplay means less of a wait to get to the good part, sure, but all climaxing all the time is... Whew. I'm tired just thinking about it. Jokes aside, Fangs is made up of 3 pillars. Pushing the aspect, killing the captain, and shard running. In the map's center, a small circle encompasses a big bird looking phoenix motherfucker that will fly in the opposite side of whichever team has more players in said circle. If this bird, or aspect as it's referred to in game, reaches your opponent's side, you automatically win the round. And the longer a round goes, the faster our fine feathered friend here will fly. But pushing the aspect isn't your only path to victory. Both sides also get a randomly selected captain per round, with four lives each, not to mention a couple of extra augments. More on those in a minute. Thus, there's a whole meta built solely around captain killing, big bird be damned. If neither of these objectives tickle your nipples, you can always spend the whole game shard running, as each of the three types of shards convey different team-wide buffs. Collect all three, and you're almost guaranteed a dub. And that's about it. Pretty simple, right? Again, yes and no. Despite simplifying the modern MOBA, do not mistake Fangs for a simple game. For one, there are only skill shots, and the game's augment system allows you to significantly alter the way they work at the end of each round. So, while certain team comps are certainly better than others, you'll at least always feel like you have a skill-based chance, be it through augment fiddling brains or mechanical keyboard smashing brawn to win. And because Fangs lacks levels and an economy, it's very hard to snowball, meaning it's rare to see a side win all three rounds, unless someone disconnects. The end product is a super fast paced, skill centric MOBA with a well balanced 14 hero roster. And because it's free with what appears to be nothing more than a harmless cosmetic shop, I don't see a reason to not recommend this game to fans of the genre. That said, I do have a few gripes, most gripey among them being that Fangs could definitely use a trip to the dentist because that smile looks rough y'all. Really, how can this game look worse in seemingly every way from textures to lighting to UI than do genre peers that came out a decade ago? And it's not just aesthetics, as the actual UI is very hard to read. As for audio, the current soundtrack is repetitive to say the least and in no way dynamic. Instead of, for example, ramping up in intensity the closer the aspect gets to either side, the music more or less stays the same from round beginning to round end. It doesn't help the audio equation that the voice actors themselves sound amateurish. Enemy Captain Slain. In my opinion, these bombastic callouts clash hard with the game's high fantasy setting. They know that for the often cheesy, tension killing hero banter. But these concerns are insignificant when juxtaposed with Fangs' disappointing map variety. All three are small to begin with and just slight permutations of each other, meaning the already simplified objectives are given less room and opportunity to create novel situations. This holds Fangs back from top marks for value, but MOBA fans should still get plenty out of it. So at least at this stage of early access, Fangs ends up earning a subject to change aggregate mega score of 2.8 out of 5, and is one of the few games I've ever recommended that falls below a neutral 3. Until we revisit Fangs at full release, this is Scope, and thanks for watching.